internet friends you seem so far away back there um i'm just on my way to matalan i need to take back a stocking a christmas stocking that i ordered online and um they sent me the wrong letter so i got one with an a on and i got one with an m on for matthew and they sent me an a and an e so I'm going to see if I can exchange it in the Matalan store. Hopefully they have them in stock. If not, I'm not sure what to do. I'll have to post it back and ask them for a new one, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm also gonna go to the range, which is kind of next to Matalan, but I have to drive there. Um, I want to have a look at all the Christmas stock and see if I've got anything Halloween-y. Today I'm going on my own. Oh, there's a squirrel. Um, squirrel. Today I'm going on my own because it's early. I say early. It's nine o'clock and it's Saturday morning. So Matthew's in work and I just thought I'd go on my own because I don't want to be long. I just want to go be done and leave and get home basically so that's what I'm gonna do so I hope you enjoy it I'll do a couple of montages of any nice Christmassy or Halloweeny stuff for you and again I'll probably show you what I bought oh you are bouncing everywhere I'll probably show you what I bought later on so for now that is all from me
hello again internet friends i've done all my shopping as you'll have seen and i've just stopped off at my dad's for a cup of tea and i need to pick up dylan's birthday present so i'll show you what i bought when i get back and i'll tell you a little about tell you a little bit about my shopping experience i really enjoyed it actually I've, i was literally out an hour and a half but yeah i'll show you later what i got everyone I'm back home now um, I've been to my dad's picked everything up that I needed to had a brew had a cup of caramel coffee in my groovy chick mug for them OG girls because young people do they know about groovy chick now Has everyone noticed this alien on my lip this cold sore so sorry if that offends anybody but on Monday it was out here. It looked like I'd done a round with Mike Tyson. But it's healing nicely now, so excuse this. The place I went was the range. There was so much nice, classy Christmas stuff in the range. You've probably seen bits of it. There was also tack. I prefer the nicer, classier stuff. But if you like tack as well, the range is for you. They had some really nice wreaths 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 i'm gonna go with i've been looking for a wreath for my front door i've seen one online that i would like for in the living room on that door there but that door's usually open so i have to put it on the side of the kitchen but the door's never shut i only shut it for this video but i've been looking for one for outside and i don't want to pay too much just in case it gets stolen basically but i'll show you the wreath first it was um 19.99 the one i actually really 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 liked was 29.99 but for if it gets pinched paying 30 pound i will be cheesed off so i went for this one which is really really pretty is this holly i know it's fake but is it like holly it's got silver baubles in there and then there's also silver glitter on like some of the leaves so i really like this and i actually made up with that for 20 pound i think it looks really nice and it's really bushy as well so yeah i just need to get a hook i need to get a hook <laughs> hello i need to get a hook for the door i think i'm just gonna get one that sticks on so i don't have a wooden door or anything i'm just gonna get one that sticks to the plastic the next thing I got from the range is this cute little thing. It's called a gonk. And let's check the price. It was £5.49. And it's called a blush sitting gonk. Which is not a very nice word really, is it? But this is again from a TV stand. Like, you know, Millie Mouse that I bought. Um, he's pink, he has long legs, he has a weighted bum, just like the mouse, but how cute is he? And he's fluffy and he has a fluffy beard, no eyes, just a nose, and long little legs with fluff. There's actually no holes in this one's legs, which is nice, but I really liked him. And he'll go in my living room, and again, I'm going to put him out now, and he can stay up till after Christmas, but he's so cute. You need a name now, Gordon the Gonk. Everyone's going to think I'm crazy, but I think I am. <laughs> and the last two things I got from the range are just boring little things. I just got some cat treats because I'm running out. I got the Felix Seaside Mix. They were 79 pence. And then I got these Daily Eat Salmon Crunchy Cushions. And they were um, a pound. Uh, I also got a loaf of bread from the range. Last time I went to the range, they didn't sell like food like that. They just sold sweets, chocolate and like drinks. They've now got a massive section of like fruit and veg, loads of freezers 
and like obviously bread and whatnot. It's literally like a little supermarket in there. Also, it reminded me of Target. If anyone's ever been to Target in America, it actually really reminded me of Target because obviously you've got all your homey stuff and there's like Christmas, there's electronic -y bits and then they've got like obviously microwaves, stuff like that and upstairs there's sofas and tables and chairs and stuff. So it just reminded me of Target when I was in there. Well, I was very impressed. I went super early, as you know, and there was literally only me in there. But I really enjoyed it. I'd do that again. I'd go early again. Um, but yeah, that's everything I got from the range. And then I went to Matalan next. So I ordered some stuff from Matalan online the other day. And a lot of it was Christmas presents, so I'm obviously not going to show them. But one of them was an exchange because I ordered these Christmas stockings and I ordered them in like a mustard colour and one had the letter A on and one had the letter M on, obviously for me and Matt. And they sent me a letter A and a letter E. I swapped it for this colour, like a raspberry pink, pinky red colour. And it's like this. These are actually really, really, really good quality. They're super soft. I'm not going to use them to put presents in. I'm just going to use them as decoration. I'm going to go up on my curtain pole up there. Ow. Um, these are actually £9 each, which I do think is a little bit expensive. But honest to God, they are really, really, really super good quality. The next thing I got was this cushion and it was actually on the 20% off stand. It was originally £10 and I got it for £8 and it says happiness looks beautiful on you and it's going to go on my bed and it's pink with rose gold, is it rose gold? I think so, writing and then the zipper which obviously usually they hide the zipper on the side this one's they've made it like a feature on the side it's got a little rose gold pulley so if you ever need to wash it or you want to get a plumper insert you can do but i like that they've turned the zip into a feature instead of being a hidden zip basically um, and then the last thing i got was a mug right i don't need any more mugs like anyone who has been around my house and has seen in my mug cupboard definitely don't need any more mugs but i couldn't not buy it it was three pound which i think is pretty decent because it's a big mug but it's a christmas mug obviously and it's got a cat on and it's got a cat wearing a christmas jumper and it says ho 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 on the christmas jumper and then it's got antlers and then uh, christmas lights and then inside it's got a paw print and christmas trees but how cute is that and for three pound i didn't think it was too bad it's got a teal handle but yeah i really couldn't leave this i think it's because it's a cat in a christmas jumper to be honest can you tell how big it is this will be nice with nice hot chocolate if you like hot chocolate i think i realized since i bought that thick galaxy hot chocolate in my video the other week I don't really like hot chocolate. Oh, I actually ended up making a chocolate banana bread out of the powder, which my mum and my stepdad loved. So at least it didn't go to waste. But yeah, I think I realized I just don't like hot chocolate, which, you know, we all don't like the same thing and that's okay. Anyway, that's everything. I'm gonna go now, I've got lots to do. So I'm going to love you and leave you and I hope you all have had a lovely weekend and I shall see you next weekend.